Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm going to review a Dietz and Watson meat product. Dietz and Watson. It says legacy craft, handcrafted. Sliced pepperoni. Gluten free. No MSG. Um, yeah, I know. It's, it's what you would get if you're making a pizza. Well, I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> I was I was going through, you know, Walmart online um, pickup area. And I put in like a search for like meat sticks because somebody said, Hey, Jerry, can you review some meat sticks and like jerky sticks and that kind of stuff? And I was like, let me see what they got in here. And I think I saw this and I, I saw pepperoni thinking they were like pepperoni meat sticks or something i don't know but i, I ordered these kind of in like an accident my, my wife was unloading the grocery bags and she's like what is this and i was like huh, i don't know she says did you order it i said i might have i might have thinking it was jerky sticks or something meat sticks so what are you gonna do with it now i was like I don't know, but I ain't going to throw it away. I don't think of something. I thought of something. You know, people like pepperoni type, you know, the logs or the um, the, uh, the sausages. They'll slice them and put like a cheese and make it a, put cheese and crackers. They'll put it on, they'll put it on a cracker and put some cheese on it. I don't have any cheese, but... I do have my saladitas, crackers. Some people use them as an hors d'oeuvre type thing, you know, just for like a snack at a party and stuff like that. Um, I thought it might be an idea. I'm not a real, I'm not a pepperoni fan. Like when we get pizza, I don't want pepperoni. I'd rather have like Canadian bacon or just beef or... Uh, um, chicken, something like that. Hmm, smell good. Nice pepperoni aroma. Refrigerate after open. I was like, just making sure that I'm smelling the plastic. I think it's sm plastic smells kind of funny. So I'm going to make sure that it wasn't supposed to be refrigerated in the first place. But yeah, it's got a pretty decent, decent pepperoni aroma. I don't mind eating pepperoni in this way, like sliced sausages on crackers, but I just don't like it on my pizza. I don't know, it's just the way I am. Let me grab a few pieces out of there. A little salty, maybe a little garlicky. Um, then you know, there's stuff on it. Know, there's like maybe a little paprika, maybe a little onion powder in there. Let me see what they what they use this. Probably. Pork, salt, spices, some sugar, rosemary extract. Okay, I get that. Huh, okay. Oleo resin of paprika. So it has a garlic powder. Mm -hmm.
That's about it. It tastes, tastes pretty good. All right, let's get a cracker out. You could make a, um, you could get some French bread and, um, you know, it's like maybe already buttered or something and, uh, put it in the oven and heat it up and then put these slices on that. You could even have some pizza sauce and put it on there and put them in there and make, um, like pizza bread or something like that. Put a couple slices on there. This is a six six ounce package. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. These, uh, if you've watched me use these crackers before, you've seen me try to break them, and I mentioned they don't break right, they don't break even. But I just now tried this and see if it happens again. You take your fork, use the tines, and put them right there where it's supposed to be perforated for a clean break and put down some pressure there you go there you go there you go see i mean no it's not totally even but it breaks better than you just try to snap up so that's just a little tip unless you've already discovered that for yourself <laughs> They're a little dry. Um, but they do have some pretty decent flavor to them. Date's still good. <clears throat> do, do people... Um, Do you, or do you know of somebody that puts hot sauces on their pizza? That doesn't sound really strange. Doesn't sound out of the ordinary that much. I can see doing it. Works again. That's the trick. <clears throat> okay. Um, the El Yucateo um, Habanero in Chiltepin. Hot sauce habanero. This one here was the 1,885 Scovels. I was looking for some of the redder sauces for the most part for this just to try <clears throat> see I kind of kind of I was just gonna kind of put it on there I think I'm gonna put a top on it just to because I've mentioned this before that way it's not the first thing that hits the roof of my mouth That's a pretty good amount right there. Okay, here's the top. Uh, let's see what happens. 
like I'm getting ready to go underwater like when you're swimming. <clears throat> I don't think that tastes very good on there. Comes a little heat. <clears throat> yeah. Some things just don't pair well with certain things, you know. All right. Tried that one. How about the El Yucateo Habanero Coffee? I don't know, that doesn't, the coffee in that and sausage, that didn't sound right. Let's try it anyway. There's things that I've tried that that I thought were going to be like completely nasty and end up not being that bad. There we go. Put my lid on there. Didn't really taste it that much. Hmm. Excuse me a minute. I have a, a little chunk of pepperoni stuck on my tooth. All right. How about some Grace hot pepper sauce? The original sent to me by Gorgum. Man, that's it's really vinegary with them and, and with those peppers in there too. Ooh, man, it's strong. I don't know if this is gonna taste good in here or not. Let's Let's try it. Let's just see. <clears throat> Put its little top on.
tasting it a little bit. Um, didn't really set off fireworks or anything. Oh, I'm getting the heat though. Okay, and they make a good little sausage and cracker. If you see these, they're already sliced for you. They're pretty flavorful. You can put an array of cheeses on a chuckery, a chuckery, a chuckery, a chuckery. I don't know if, if it was Beach Life or who it was that told me how to pronounce that word. Charcuterie? Charcuterie? Board? And then they can put them, you know, slice of that, slice of cheese. I was just talking about that I don't ever see Gannats in my office. And lo and behold, there was one flying around me just now. Before the day's done, I will get him. Come out and fight. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we will see you on the next device. I don't know if I mentioned. First off, I'd rate it. Um, I'd rate it a four because they're they're just a little dry. Um, four out of five. But other than that, they're pretty good. Um, sodium's four hundred and forty milligrams. Cholesterol's thirty milligrams. Saturated fat, 2.5. <clears throat> Doesn't have any vitamins. Has a little iron in there, 2%. Um, protein, 7 grams. Um, that's about it. Okay. Has a peel and stick. A peel and resell sticker type thing up here on the corner. So make sure you get that down, kid. Maybe put it in another Ziploc baggie just to make sure it stays good in the refrigerator. That's what I'm going to do. Um, but, uh, yeah. All right, yeah. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you on the next one.